Hey, hi guys! Once again, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, guys. Those who are from you know different different locations. Okay, hope you all are good. Let's start today our let's start today our session with Azure Cloud. Let me share my screen, guys. Are you able to view my screen, guys? Yes, no. Yes, yes. Yes. Thanks for confirmation. So let us discuss about the you know, Azure. Today we are going to discuss about the Azure applications, and also we are going to do the labs from you know storage account and all. Okay, so let us discuss about the Azure application. Basically, a Azure application gateway is what a web traffic load balancer. It is also kind of load balancer that enables you to manage traffic to your web applications. So nowadays, each and every days, you know, the number of web application is what increasing day by day, right? So how to you know balance the load? That is what we can use the Azure application gateway to balance the load. So how we are going to open any web application first we are going to click on browser or we are going to open the browser then we are going to put the address then it is going to check the oh, security security that is https or not if security rule got passed then it is going to send the backend pull server okay whatever may be it is an application delivery controller adc as a service offering various layer seven load balancing capabilities for your application so uh, you guys at least remember this azure application gateway is also one of the service offered by azure to control the web traffic load balancer now we are going to discuss about the content delivery network that is cdn on azure a cdn is a distributed networks of servers that can efficiently deliver web content to users Okay, so guys, must you guys must be aware about that? Okay, but in so many organizations or so many con um, country, few of the sites or few of the contents are what, not, uh, no user is not able to open, right? Like in let us take the example of China, certain sites are banned. Let us take the example of you know, uh, uh, especially the Arabic country like some you know like you know uh, UAE or Saudi Arabia, right? Libya and all these countries. There are so many you know uh, application web applications are banned, right? Like Facebook and all, correct? So they have their what? And also there are so many type of in on the internet there are so many types of contents, right? Yes or no, guys? So specifically, if you want to control the region, okay, especially the if you want to filter the content, you can use the content delivery network. This also helps to you know uh, give the you know uh, uh, result quickly because it is going CDN stores cache content memory. Okay, so if it is going to you know catch, then it is what it is going to store cache due to that region what. Whenever we are going to type the same you know URL, it is able to find the address easily and as soon as fast. Okay, so CDN stores cache content on edge server in point of purchase POP locations that are close to end users to minimize the latency means what delay time will be very very less if you are going to use the CDN. Okay, guys. Now we are going to discuss about the database services. So Azure is also going to provide the number of database services. Okay, not only a single database service, a number of database services. Okay, so let us discuss about the first database service that is what Cosmos DB. This is also one of the you know very important and you know core services offered by Azure. Azure Cosmos DB is what Microsoft globally distributed multi-model database service. You can elastically scale throughput and storage and take advantage of fast single digit milliseconds data access using your favorite API, including SQL, MongoDB, Cascadra, Tables, and Garmin. 
So where we can use this Cosmos, Azure Cosmos DB, it is, it is very useful in web, in mobile, in gaming and IoT. IoT means what? Internet of the things. Okay. Like we are using Alexa, play the music for Amazon, right? Or any, there are so many, you know, uh, by internet of things is what? Right nowadays we are, especially in US or Germany and all, they are going to what? Use the IoT, internet of the things in their house, so many, right? Open the door with the voice command, your door will be open, correct? Those are what? IoT applications. Due to IoT, we are able to perform those operations. Correct, guys? Now we are going to discuss about the Azure SQL database. As you guys suggested that first, you know, we are going to cover some theory and then we will do the practice, practical. That is the reason I am covering right now theory and then we will do the same practical. Fine, guys? Yes, no, no one is going to say anything. At least, you know, put the comment on chat. Okay, now we are going to discuss about the Azure SQL database. This is also one of the important database service offered by Azure. Okay, with Azure SQL database, uh, you know, Azure manage the hardware, software update and OS patches for you. If you are going to use this particular database, we are not going to manage anything. Either it is a, a hardware, either it is a software updates or any OS patches. Azure uh, is going to take care of all this stuff. There are no systems for you to buy, provide power for or otherwise maintain. So they are going to, you guys are not going to buy anything. You are going to take the, any services on rent. Correct guys? Basically in cloud, we are taking what? All the services on rent, right? Yeah. We are not, we are not going to buy yeah. anything. Okay. As in the first class, as I told you, right, we can scale up and scale down based on our requirement, right? Any services. Similarly, database with Azure SQL database, you can adjust the performance and size of your database on the fly when you need change. Today, suppose you require 1000 GB and maybe day after tomorrow, you require what? 2000 GB. I'm just taking the example. Okay. Do not go with the 1000 and 2000 number. So you can easily scale up within the fraction of seconds or fraction of, you know, with, within the couple of minutes. And security of Azure SQL database comes with a firewall that's automatically configured to restrict connection from the internet. Okay. So this is security is also you know, high because it is what comes with the firewall. So this is also one of the Best service you can say that especially in database okay offered by Azure. Now next uh, service especially in database series they are going to offer you the Azure database for MySQL. As you know that MySQL is what open source right? Yes or no? Correct. So uh, but in whenever we are like Ubuntu is what uh, you know open source right? But we are using, whenever we are going to use the Ubuntu VM, it is also chargeable, correct? But price is less. Similarly, here if you are going to use Azure Database for MySQL and Azure, price will be less, but they are going to charge you guys. So Azure Database for MySQL is a relational database service. Now the question is coming, what is relational database? Correct guys? So whenever you guys must be heard about the primary key and secondary key. Anyone knows? Primary key and secondary key? No. See, okay, let me tell you. So primary key is what whenever we are going to store any data into the database, correct? So we are going to define the primary key. Let me give the simple example. If you are a, a employee of any organization, XYZ, suppose you are the employee of Microsoft, correct? So they are going to provide you the employee ID, correct? Any mm -hmm. doubt in that? So employee yeah. ID will be the unique ID in the entire organization. Correct? Either it is a 10,000 people or 1 lakh people, uh, people, right? 
employee strength whatever may be they are not going to share the same employee id for or more than one person correct so primary key is what the value which is what unique okay so if we are going to store the employee data into the database we are going to make employee id as a primary key clear clear what is primary key anyone have any doubt put the chat in the yes no yeah okay primary key is clear now what is you know foreign key have you heard about the foreign key no okay basically foreign key is what set of attributes in any kind of table okay whatever we are going to store ref uh, okay in the table that refers to the primary key of another table okay suppose uh, first of all what is relational database relational database whenever we are going to say it it will in the database there must be two table and both the table should have the relation okay suppose in table 1 we have the let me just a second guys let me give you the simple example guys Primary key have always a unique value in the table. Okay, guys, it is it will be always a value in the table. Okay, and suppose this is the primary key, this is the table one. And this is the table two. So there must be a relation between the table one and table two. Okay. So what kind of relation? Uh, let me tell you. Primary key of this table become a foreign key of this table. Okay. That is what relational data. I uh, know uh, relational database in uh, we are going to say that okay in relational database there must be a table one and table two primary key of the table one will become a foreign key of table two a foreign key of table two become a primary key of table one so what is primary key it will become a unique id unique value in the entire table like employee id see name so might be one quick question yeah please is uh, this primary and uh, foreign key synonymous to private and uh, public key in uh, data encryption and decryption? No, 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 no. That different things, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a database stuff. That is primary and a private key and public key we are going to know. Uh, okay. uh, use for accessing the uh, no, uh, Ubuntu machine. I will tell you that part. Okay. okay no that is encryption and decryption. This is totally different. It is not in, it is basically, these are the concepts, you know, I'm just telling you basic understanding once we are going to do the, some database training. Okay, then this is only basic. So primary key become a foreign key, foreign key become a primary keys. It means what relation should be there. Okay. So predictable performance using inclusive PSU go pricing. Okay, see, one more thing I, I have already told you, nothing is free in the cloud. Okay, so do not think anything, whatever the service you are going to use, they are going to charge you. Secure to protect sensitive data at rest and in motion. 
whether your database is what at running state condition whether your database is what at a stop they are going to secure your data automatic backups and point in time restore for up to 35 days that is what default if you want to increase you can increase also okay enterprise grade security and compliance also you can enable in that okay so you can create azure database for mysql either through azure cli either through azure portal either through power cell next we are going to discuss about also one of the important service offered by azure that is what post gray sql okay so po azure database for post gray sql is a relational database this is also a relational database service in the microsoft cloud built for developer who is going to use database developer okay it is or also the full stack developers it is based on the community version of the open source post gray sql database engine and is available in two deployment option that is single server and hyper service okay so this is also one of the important database service offered by azure so guys you guys have seen that these are the core services offered by azure right but you never seen that oracle databases uh, are available in azure portal correct yes or no because oracle database is not offered by azure till now but in aws we will get the oracle database okay guys clear so now we are going to discuss about the azure database migration service this is very important how we are going to migrate data from you know on premises to cloud so uh, azure is going to offer azure database migration service okay so on premises what in your organization database service okay so you can see that on premises you have microsoft sql server oracle these all are what you have on premises service but in cloud in azure cloud we don't have the oracle right but if our data is available in oracle we have to choose similar kind of database either azure sql database or any sql database okay to migrate this migrate the data so azure database migration service is a fully managed service designed to enable seamless migration from the multiple database source to azure data platform with minimal downtime okay it means what latency will be very less okay minimal that is the reason you guys must be getting you know uh, auto trigger mail for in the weekend or sometimes right for one hour for half an hour database operation or maintenance is going on so uh, some of the service will not work correct so they are doing the update they are going to do the migration all this stuff now we are going to discuss about the internet of things basically azure is going to offer you internet of things that is uh, iot the azure internet of things is collection of microsoft managed cloud services that connect monitor and control billions of iot assets billions of not a single iot applications can be described as things devices sending data that generate insights these insights generate action to improve a business and process okay so this is what so what are the example of internet of the things which we are going to use in day to day life one of the uh, one of the what basic example is what alexa tv yes or no guys yeah correct those are what internet of things so what are the iot services offered by azure first one is what iot central iot solution accelerator and iot hub so what is iot central this is an iot application platform that simplifies the creation of iot solutions and helps to reduce the burden and cost of iot management operations and development iot solution accelerator is what this is a collection of platform as a service solutions and hub is what this service allow you to connect your uh, connect from your device to an iot hub and monitor and control billions of iot devices okay so these if someone is going to ask see basically either whatever maybe the platform suppose you went to for you know 
a DevOps interview, they will at least ask you whether IoT services are offered by Azure or not, and what type of services they are, Azure is offering. Then you can take the name IoT Central, IoT Solution Accelerator, and IoT Hub. This is also one of the profile people are working. Basically, in IoT, you know, services we are using in automotive domain. Have you heard about the automotive domain? The company like Mercedes. The company like Toyota, okay, guys, they are using nowadays IoT services from the Azure. Clear? That is the reason you guys must have seen that Mercedes in front of Mercedes, whenever or we are going to say open the door automatically, you know, it is going to recognize the voice and they are going to open the door of the Mercedes automatically. Start the car, car will start, right? Also, apart from that, Azure is also going to offer you big data and analytics services. Okay. So big data is Microsoft Azure provides a robust services for analyzing big data. Azure is basically offering ADLA. Okay. And it is going to analyze both structured and unstructured data. Now the question is coming. What is a structured data and what is unstructured data? Correct guys. So I'm going to give you the simple example. Whenever user is going to register or going to or user is going to fill any form in that form, you guys must have seen that first name, last name, correct? Each and every items they are asking, right? The people are what filling each and every item. That is what a structure. But sometimes you guys must have seen that. Okay. Last name is missing. Yes. Email ID is missing. Correct. So those are what unstructured data. Okay. That is the one of the example unstructured type of data are what so many types of data, junk data, you know, any type of, you know, there is no sequence of data, right? So all those comes under the unstructured data. Okay. So with the, with the help of ADLA, we can analyze. Okay. Using a language USQL and bring together the benefits of SQL and C sharp. If you are going to use USQL, okay. So who who all are using these services? Mainly, you guys must be heard about nowadays. Data science engineer, correct guys. So this particular service is useful for data science engineer. Azure SQL Data Warehouse. SQL Data where this is also one of the important services offered by Azure. SQL Data Warehouse provides recommendations, okay, uh, uh, to ensure your data warehouse is constantly optimized for performance. So, what is the use of warehouse, guys? We all are using Amazon platform for ordering anything, correct? some of the items correct guys let me give a simple example what is the use of warehouse so you guys must have seen that uh, uh, amazon have already created the warehouse in that particular area right so the customer delivery time should be very less right they are trying to optimize the time correct similarly azure is also going to provide the azure sql data warehouse where you can store the data in a systematic way, okay, so that whenever the user is going to, you know, uh, request the data, automatically the latency will be very less. So this is the what uh, use of Azure SQL Data Warehouse. Data Warehouse recommendations are tightly integrated with Azure Advisor to provide you with best practices directly within the Azure portal. So guys. This is Azure Advisor is also one of the what service, but my for your practice purpose, whatever the they are going to recommend, do not use because it is going, it is, it will be very chargeable. They will ask you to do the upgrade your account, pay as you go, then use these services and your constantly your bill will be increased. Okay. For practice purpose, no need to use Azure Advisor. Okay, guys, clear. Either you can say yes, no, whatever may be.
so azure hd insights is also one of the you know uh, services offered by azure uh, and it is managed full spectrum open source and you know analytics service in the cloud for enterprise so who is going to use organization like infosys or organization like cognizant or organization like you know uh, essential all these stuff you can use open source frameworks such as hadoop Apache Spark, Apache Hive, LLAP, Apache Kafka, Apache Storm, R and more. Now we are going to discuss about the Azure Data Lake and Analytics that is ADLA. Azure Data Lake and Analytics is an on-demand analytics job service that simplifies big data. Instead of deploying, configuring and tuning hardware, you can write queries to transform your data and extract valuable insights. Directly we can write with the query, we can you know get the data and we can what? Based on insights, we can recognize, we can manage, we can analyze the data. Okay, so basically who is going to use ADLA? Azure database, okay? Clear guys? Azure also going to offer you machine learning services. So guys, at least for exam, those who are preparing the exam, okay guys, please try to you know, understand these you know, services or at least try to remember these services. They will ask you, okay? So Azure machine learning can do, be... Do you mean the um, AZ900? Yes, yes. At least you should know the what are the services offered by. Okay. Okay. See, machine learning is a totally different path. Correct? DevOps is a different path. Database uh, is different path, right? Our path is what? We have. We are going to learn DevOps, right? We, we want to become a DevOps engineer, correct? Yes or no? So, but... Yeah. You should also know someone is going to ask you in the interview whether you know, machine learning service is offered by Azure, yes or no? You should say yes. Okay. Because slowly each and every services will be available on cloud. Nowadays. So Azure machine learning can be used for any kind of machine learning from classical ML to deep learning in supervised and unsupervised learning. If you want to learn machine learning, you should know the Python or R code or zero code. Okay, options such as the uh, such as the designer. So for learning the machine, you know Azure machine, yeah, uh, uh, you know Azure machine learning service, you should know the Python or R code. That is the basic prerequisite to learn this particular service. Okay. Next, Azure is also going to offer serverless computing. So what do you mean by serverless? Without server? Yes or no, as the name itself. So basically it is not a without server because server is there. But it is what? It is not visible for the end user. Okay. Like in cloud, we have a database, uh, we, we have a data center or not? Yes. Yes. Either Azure, either AWS, either GCP, they have the database somewhere. Right? Exact location they are not going to tell you. Only the region we can define. Okay. We are using here. So what are the benefits of serverless computing? See, serverless computing is going to solve your business problem. It is not going to solve your technical problem. Okay. So technical, like let me give the simple example. Right now we are connected uh, through Zoom, right? Yes or no? So the basic yeah. business problem is what we are business business uh, you know uh, our target is what a business goal is what we should able to communicate correct that is the business correct so it is going to only provide those type of service okay it is not going to solve the technical issues or technology problem. Second thing is what it is going to also the efficiency of the serverless will be high. Shorter time to market, 
fixed cost converted to the variable cost means it means how much you are going to use they are going to charge only for that that is the reason nowadays people are going for serverless computing okay in server in azure we have a one particular you know service that is azure function in aws we have a lambda function those who have some background from aws okay guys similarly lambda same type of function is what azure function like lambda okay it is going to what less waste and better development and testing management and better service stability simply if flexibility is what simplified starting experience easier pivoting means more flexibility easier experimentations and scale at your space don't beat the forum on first day okay natural fit for microservices because nowadays guys all the development is what carried out through microservices right yes or no they are developing any application in the very distributed manner okay so these are what uh, platform so one of the serverless you know uh, service offered by azure is what azure function azure function is a solution for easily running a small piece of code or function in the code you can write just the code you need for the problem at hand without worrying about a whole applications or the or infrastructure to run it nowadays you can you know function can make development even more productive and you can you know use your development language like either c c sharp java javascript powershell python and extra there are so many you know other languages are also available now now we are going to discuss about the azure logic apps okay so azure logic app is what it is one of the orchestrated business process you know so it is going to generate the workflow so first of all we are going to oh, understand what is workflow guys workflow is what whenever let me give the simple example whenever we are going to log into the amazon okay after logging that we are going to suppose we want to buy something correct so we are going to add some item into the cart correct after adding that we are going to click on buy button and then we are going to do the payment and then we are going to log out right this is what workflow or not yes or no start yeah. point but there are multiple workflow available in the amazon like like you know some of the like suppose you are going to buy gift item you are going to buy books and all so those are different section and also the way of payment are different either you can do the payment through debit card credit card upi correct all these stuffs are available correct so basically azure logic app is going to generate the workflow out of the box connector reduce integration challenges like in amazon and payment gateway both are different platform or not but they have integrated right that is the reason we are able to do the payment correct connect and integrate data from the cloud to on premises b2b and enterprise messaging in the cloud and powerful web based workflow designer with this we can design the workflow now we are going to discuss about the devops service so this particular you know uh, service we are going to cover in detail in ag 400 for a single service okay guys so devops service is also offered by whom azure right so what is devops tell me guys no one saying um, anything the, the development and um operation and operation oh, okay so basically devops is what as you said that development and operation correct development and operation fine so basically uh, in development team 
okay devops is a combination of development and operation okay we'll discuss in detail in ag 400 so you are correct only okay so in operation why devops came into the picture in the very demo class i have already explained you but again whenever we are going to start ag 400 then again in the detail we are going to cover this okay so devops is not a tool and technology first of all devops is not a tool and technology it is a process okay one more thing the people whenever i used to interview the people they used to say devops is a method methodology no devops is not a methodology devops is a process agile is a methodology okay and either it is a agile either it is a devops either it is it is a waterfall these are what sdlc method okay sdlc you know modules to create the product to build the product okay so one of the tool is azure devops so azure devops is not a single tool it is a combination of or it is a suit of services azure devops is not a single service it is a suit of service basically azure devops provides developer service to support teams to plan work collaborate on code development and build and deploy applications so in a single platform we can do each and everything start to end where well, how to start the project and how to deploy the project into the production each and everything whether it is a project planning whether whether it is what user story writing epic creation defect creation defect closure deployment development testing each and everything we can do in a single platform at that platform platform is known as azure devops we do not have any other tool in the market which is going to support each and everything testing also project planning also and you know deployment also okay guys in AWS, we have a deployment, uh, very good AWS you know, deployment service, but they don't have the, in a single tool, they don't have to do each and everything start to finish. Project planning, they don't have. Correct? Yes or no? Due to that reason, maximum people are using Jira, those who are using the AWS cloud. Okay, guys. So as I told you, DevOps is what? Suit of service, right? First one is what Azure repository, Azure pipeline, Azure board, Azure test plan and Azure artifacts. Let me give you the simple basic introduction guys. In Azure board, we are going to, you know, apply entire agile methodology to create, to, you know, to do the project planning in Azure board. Azure pipeline is used to deploy the applications, build. Azure repository is used to store the build test plan is what used to write the test cases for testing purpose and azure artifacts to store the artifacts okay these are what five services offer inside the azure devops so that is the reason i was telling you azure devops is not a single service it is a suit of service okay clear guys So we have already portal.azure.com, we have already gone through and Azure Advisor is, a, I know, as I told you, this is also one of the service. Azure Advisor is a free service built into Azure that provides recommendations on high ability and security performance and cost. Now let us do some quick questions. Guys. To ensure 99.95% availability SLA, how many VMs are required and in an availability set? Tell me guys, put your Three. answer on chat. No, one. Who said three? No, one. Oh, one. Next. Tell me guys. Okay, Sripad 2, okay. Next. 
okay now tell me what is the reason why the people are saying one why the people are saying two see obviously to ensure 99.95 percent of ability of sla how many vms it is obviously more than one so one is not the correct answer okay two is the correct answer guys because one see always you know 100 percent 99.95 percent means what almost exactly 100 percent yes or no so something will happen something will happen in the vm1 then there must be some backup for disaster recovery yes or no so that is the reason answer two is what correct now to create a azure virtual machine we have already created so many right yes or no using your mac os computer which of the following tools can be used tell me guys first one is what azure portal so through azure portal we have already created so many vm correct mm -hmm. yes as in the first class i told you right we are able to create any services through azure powershell also yes or no yes yes through oh, azure uh, through azure cli also we can create so yeah. all abc these... abc yes. correct ABC. answer is abc excellent good okay now we are going to uh, do some labs today okay so let me share my let me open the uh, portal then uh, once again i am going to share I'm just, you know, opening the portal. Then once again, I'm going to share. Are you guys able to view my screen? So our portal is open. Okay. So now today we are going to create a, first of all, we are going to create the VM. Create the VM and try to access through RDP. Correct guys. Have you done this lab? Yes or no? Both should be window VM. VM window, okay? let me open the so first of all we have to search v virtual machine on the so as a, this is the create button through this we can create so guys we can access the vm through multiple ways okay especially the you know window vm first of all we do not have the resource group we have to create resource group Okay, guys. So, how what is the name? How many uh, VMs you can create in one resource group? No. N number of VM. N number. N number. Okay. But do mm -hmm. not try with your account, okay? Otherwise, the charges will be oh, okay. very high. Just to check two, three, or five VM, you can create and delete it. Okay. vm win test 01 win means window vm okay let it be stus and all and as it is a window vm then we have to select the window operating system let me select windows mm -hmm. server 2019 
fine okay then we have to give the username and password so i'm just putting azure user fine and password i'm not going to tell you okay guys you can because with the password only we are able to access right yes or no and you can see that i have allow rdp you can see that rdp so that i am able to access this as it is a window vm okay and i am going to click on create okay it is going to cost me 14.7 inr power so validation is running you can see that running final uh, final validation so validation passed then i am going to click on create button so deployment is what under process and it is going to submit the deployment it is going to take you know few seconds like 30 to 40 seconds sometimes more than 1 minute also okay so let's wait for 30 seconds then our server will be ready then i will show you the multiple ways how to access the vm still deployment is in progress uh, rohit uh, like to access do we need to add a user iam ami or iam no no need to right now without iam if you want suppose i have created the vm right i want mm -hmm. you also to access right then mm -hmm. i can add you but okay. i don't want in but, the yeah. uh -huh. right but nah, right now i don't want because you are going to use and i have to pay okay so uh, we are not going to see through uh -huh. access control okay. you okay. can okay. add as i told you right add and all okay your exactly email id and all but right now i am not going to add you okay so okay. how okay. to access so there are multiple way okay to access first one is what very traditional way is what in our system whenever in the search box if you are going to type rdp rdp fine you can see that remote desktop connection is coming correct guys everyone is able to view this yes no yes okay fine i am clicking on that now let me copy see how to access public ip correct so where is rdp I remove that copy paste this one see here you can see that username not specified so our username was what azure user correct guys hope you could have remember yes yes so give the now name why i used to put azure user so that we are able to remember okay and after that putting the you know public ip address after giving the username we have to click on this connect button okay guys so click on connect now it is asking the password enter your credential correct for this particular ip so password which at the time of creation we have given some password correct yes or no so i have i have already given the password clicking and okay then after that we have to click on yes and how we build the network like in your laptop ip address is different and no my laptop ip what is the need of ip address my no especially my you know, how we how we build the network in your laptop ip address is different and then azure portal ip address is different how we communication that we have to, i have to disable my firewall and then i can you know communicate 
that will come under AG seven hundred. Okay, hello. Yes. There in Azure, there is one course that is AG seven hundred. Okay, that is especially for the network engineers. Okay, so in detail we'll go. I told you right. You just create in your you know, uh, whatever the your have you know having the portal, either free and all. You can disable the firewall from your uh, you know local also and the VM also, and then you can communicate. So, are you guys able to view my screen? Yes. We yes. are able to access VM or not? Yes, access. Correct. So, this is one of the way to access the VM. Okay. Now, let me close this. Let me close this one also. See. Your remote session will be disconnected. Okay. Now, this is one way from our local system. We have clicked on the RDP and then we have the username and password, right? Especially username and also we have given the public ID, right? Now, there is one more. You can see that connect. Are you able to view the screen connect option? Yes. Click yes. on connect. There is what? Connect option. Click on the connect. Now you can see that native RDP. Okay. For with this public IP address, click on select. After selecting, it is going to offer you to download the RDP. Okay. You can see that our username is our Azure user. Click on download. You have downloaded this one RDP file guys click on open after clicking on open no need to give anything click on connect it will ask only password why is it important to know this multiple way one way is not okay see one way is not okay but azure is providing you multiple ways multiple services yeah More that's flexibility. but what is the reason why suppose in your system see the requirement is suppose in your system rdp is not installed then how you will mm -hmm. access correct might be the person there right they don't have the you know rdp in their system then Chances well, it are, one, well, it might be one is not one is more secure than the other. Everything is secure nowadays. Don't worry. Okay, if you are not going to access now, let me tell you, I am using, I have used this particular, you know, uh, RDP file to access this particular, you know, VM, right? Correct, guys. This is also one of the way. I'm just clicking on OK. Now, so how we have access? Local RDP and RDP file. Correct, guys? We have done or not? Now, suppose I'm going to change the password. And then I'm going to verify whether it is whether it is working to access the VM or not. Correct? And one question, please. Is it possible to access that uh, VM through the CLI? Yes. We'll discuss those stuff uh, through. I know. Uh, you can create through the CLI also. You can access through. Okay. You can establish the connection. Okay, you can type the command here. Wait. So those stuff we are going to discuss in AG400. Okay. Okay. AG, sorry, AG104, not 400. 
is you one zero four. Okay, how to create and how to know. So this is what and how to access this. Okay, now let us go to this password. Where is that password? Reset password. Ah uh, yes. Suppose you want to change the password. I'm going to change the password. I thought we've done all these things that we are doing. No, no. After changing the password again, I'm going to access the VM. to test whether it is working or not how to change we have done but now i am checking how after changing again through rdp whether i am able to access or not clear guys are you getting or not earlier we did the operations only whether we are able to change the password or not now i am after changing the password we are going to verify whether able to access or not that is what after changing verify the vm access okay so that is what we are trying here click on it will take few seconds 10 to 20 seconds to update the password then we are going to again going to check whether with this particular updated password whether we are able to access the vm or not window vm so it is what updated now go here click on connect once again or whatever the you have downloaded uh, already you have downloaded click on select we have already downloaded it might be somewhere so again is that is the region i am downloading once again click on connect the download file is sorry what happened i'm saying that it should be on the download folder Okay, so no issues. I have already downloaded one second. Click on yes. So it means we are able to access. Correct. It means reset password functionality is working fine. That is one of the job what we are going to do the retesting of a cloud testing. Ah, uh, okay, guys. We are. Can you can you open the window configuration? What is the con? Ah, uh, VM configuration. Windows configuration. My local system, or you you are talking about the VM? VM, VM. Let me go to the property. Or you can check in on you know here also PC. What do you want to check? Just right click right. and go to the properties. I want to show the all the configuration you want to check. Yeah, property last. Hmm. What do you want to check here? What is the window and how much RAM and anything? How many bits? 
so those just stuff we can you know at the time of whatever the elements we have given okay everything that is that we can check in overview of there only on the portal also okay, okay. like how this is same thing how we are going to check in the local right local system clear guys yes computer name vm win test 01 that is what we have given we have selected you know windows server 2019 data center right correct yes and this is the product id they have generated okay let me delete you guys have already seen everything so i need to delete this otherwise there might be the security threat guys actually i usually not going to show this property because i'm using the organization pm so let me delete this or delete let me delete the resource group itself so guys always try to delete the resource group whenever you are going to practice copy here paste it and click on delete and it is going to be delete okay guys Okay. now we are going to discuss about how to create the storage account and how to work with that okay so uh, all uh, the is uh, rohit is is the part of the is uh, part of the 900 is your 900 yeah this is the part of 900 and it is also you know a little bit extended for 104 because in 104 you guys not going to ask that how to you know create the vm how to access through all these stuff i am already explaining you okay so here at least you guys are to able to understand how to create and how to access okay. uh, rohit uh, yes. rohit one question regarding the access see uh, you said that you know if you if you uh, add me in iam my iam right that is iam so hmm. like uh, only then i can able to access that is what you are saying right vm see yeah. i have created hmm. one vm i want to give you access so i will have to add your email id there right only then i you will be able to access right yes another way is what i you can provide me the your credential azure user and password i can also in that way also i can access no no actually no. what i will do is i will like to create a multiple users okay. consider that you know i have created a server Mm -hmm. i have added uh, um, uh, i have created multiple for, uh, users okay yeah, so, so i will for uh, that yeah. first so, of all uh, wait wait first of all we have to add suppose i have created just no server right i have yeah. to add this is you know my organization uh, you know directory right in the directory okay. first i need to add that these things i am going to discuss in ag104 okay but just now you have asked that is the reason i am telling you here i need to okay. add you and then your name will be available in this particular directory then i am going to add the users in whatever the vm i have created then i am able to add you now getting first your name should be available in the organization See whatever the expert uh -huh. that organization you are working. Okay. okay. Then why don't we just go gradually? Because it looks like it's going too fast. So let's do what you are doing. So that we just because we are going back and forth, so it's not really making any sense. Just like what you are doing, just follow up so that we go chronological. Because we keep on going from from we keep we keep on going back. Then we go front. We come back front. what happen uh, yeah, yeah i am going in sequence only in sequence yeah, only he have, yeah. yeah he have asked the question that is the reason i was showing and oh, that is far better right now do not uh, okay definitely i will not address the question which is you know oh uh, uh, you know beyond that let us go step by step do not jump here exactly okay? exactly yeah. actually if see the thing is what well, if i am not going to respond the answer okay so might be the you know uh, the audience who is sitting might feel that okay maybe i you know the person who is you know uh, going to train me they do not have the knowledge or something that is the reason i am just addressing your you know but from today don't worry i will whenever someone is going to ask beyond the 
no existing then i will say we will discuss later is it fine no problem oh, no problem at the end of the class we can discuss okay that's fine for me no problem okay guys do not take it in a other way okay guys fine hope now everyone is happy okay so we are going to create the as we discuss what is a storage account we can create you know multiple types of storage account blurb queue table all right so let us create the storage account don't worry okay. at the end of the you know say, session you can ask me question okay and then so, i will so i say why are you skipping the network the visual network are we not creating that network? we have already created the virtual network first let us finish this not skipping this is either you can you know virtual network we will do don't worry but mm -hmm. this is important before that okay no problem just... it is a sequence only only i have written this okay first let us uh, create the storage account and how to use the storage account how to upload the files how to download the files everything okay whatever data that we are going to discuss right now so first of all as i told you right storage account so a storage account this is what whenever you are going to write a st it is what showing a storage account okay fine so this is what a storage account we are creating in default directory okay so let me click on create button after create clicking on create button you can see that it is asking the resource group correct yes or no correct guys so as we do not have the resource group as usual we have to create resource group age rg it is 09 suppose i have given the name clear a storage account name so, so whatever may be suppose what's your name let me check i am going to with whom name i can create tell me guys you can just post storage account test so that we can okay fine that is my naming convention i used to do this test one test two okay okay storage rohit test zero one fine so see one more thing this storage account name should be unique in the entire azure database okay see fine let me fill so let it be east us okay you can select whatever may, maybe you want but i used to prefer east us okay a standard select a standard for practice purpose premium will be what cost wise it is very high okay click on review validation failed go to previous in the basic what item we forget let us check it should be only lower case let it be t okay once again click on the, it means what a storage account name should be always in a small letter clear guys these small things also you should remember so validation got passed correct now i am going to click on create so this is also very you know chargeable service so guys first create do your operations practice it and delete it so it will take you know one or two minutes sometimes you know three minutes also so you can see that your deployment is completed okay and also we got the notification 
fine now click on go to resource so resource group you can see that in overview okay guys this belongs to the what is the resource group of this storage rgts01 location is what is us subscription is what pay, pay as you go that is the region i used to create and i used to delete okay now how to this section is very important data storage this section is very important in i know for doing all the operations so click on container here you can create container here it is what you can you know store files here you can what, click on q or let me tell you guys click on overview have you seen this are you able to view this upload yeah okay click on upload suppose i want to upload any files either you can browse the files let me browse the files suppose these are what files only or user create template so before updating we need to what create container correct guys yes or no yes because i just know i show you there was no container correct in the data stories section so just give the any name so c o n test 01 click on okay so inside this container it is container 1 it is going to upload the file so now check it here click on container this container is created yes or no guys click yeah. on this user create template file is available right inside this container you can upload multiple files drag and drop files here also and either you can browse the file suppose i am going to upload this file click on upload add it yes or no similarly yeah. so how much space you are going to use inside the container they are going to charge based on that okay uh, question please yes please go ahead yeah so what was the purpose for the i see you you created a um, storage account yes then now you are talking about container so we didn't do anything with the storage account so this is in see container we have created inside the storage account only okay okay, okay let let me let let okay you got confused let me explain you once again see this is the storage which we, I, we have created just now yes or no yes mm -hmm. I, I see that in so, the storage you can see the data storage section are you able to view my cursor is there yes inside yeah. that there is what container section right if you want click on container section if you want to create new container just now if container you have not created if you want to upload the file it will ask you to create a container inside that container you can put your files or if you suppose this is what you are using because in the organization we have multiple container because same storage is used by multiple vertical hr vertical also or sometimes you know uh, you know project vertical also or sometimes marketing vertical sales vertical also right so you can create some other container also container is just a kind of bucket where we can store our data here yeah so, yeah but before before storing before storing data um on the storage um account you have to you must you know uh the way i understand you must have a container yes. you have to have a container and then how big the con how, how big that container has has to be do you have to specify it specify it or uh, you, you can, can just leave you it can, open that you, way? you can specify all these services also but if it it is a chargeable that is the reason i'm not you know going to okay all right this. click all on right. create button 
so now i have created and uh, this container and this in this container nothing is there right yes or no so there are two yeah. options either you can upload the files either you can add the filter okay to search this right suppose we have an n number of files n number of files then one by one it is not possible you can add the filter you can search also or you want to and also you can change access level also okay so let me upload again once again i'm showing you how to upload so please be careful so let me upload okay suppose this one ag500 that is security i am the trainer for especially in azur okay ag700 ag500 ag400 ag104 ag304 azure architect everything okay click on upload so you can see that uploading now file is there if you don't want after some times so you can delete also the file so quick question again yeah so without without the storage account you you will not be able to create um, containers right is it is that am i right without the storage account container is also one of the services separate container is also oh no uh, uh service offered by azure but inside the storage also we can create the container this container is a kind of bucket only to put your things like suppose yeah. we are going into the market right? i know what yeah my question is hmm. without, if you did not create if you did not create the um the storage the account tenant. you no, the storage account. The storage account. Yeah. You will not be able to create the container. That is my question. Is that correct or not? Can you create this, the container without? No, no, the... no. Yes, yes. Without. See, if you want to store something inside the storage account, okay. No, inside so... the container. Inside the container. What I say inside. The, if you want to store something inside the container, no, you no, have no, to no. have a storage account. Yeah. That is my yes. question. So, yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Without container, you have to first create the storage account. Then only you are able to create the container. That is my question. So, so yeah, that was so, his question. Yeah. yeah. So, so now at least you answer my question. So, without the storage yeah. account, you cannot create a container. No. One of the other con Azure container services also different. Okay. That is for you no know, running the application yesterday, which okay. I did. yesterday okay, which I be, told you. Okay, what this container is the, this what is sorry. Let let me let me complete. Then your confusion will be gone. Okay, this container do not mix this container with that container. Those are different. Though that container is what like a web app. Okay, this container is only going to used only going to used for the files to store the files. That container Azure Container Service, their full name is what Azure Container Service is going to provide the isolated environment. That is totally the use of that particular container is totally different. The use of this container is totally different. Their name is what Azure Container Service. Here is our only inside the storage we are using the container word. Container is a what simple universal word to you know, like if well, uh, you know, container is a kind of bucket here. That's all. But their Azure I, Container Service is totally different. I understand what you are saying. My question is, hmm. we created storage account. What okay. was the purpose? What was the what what was the yes exactly what actually make us to create the storage account? What 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 is the purpose? Purpose to store the data. A storage account is used to store the data. Yesterday I have explained to you with the slides what is the so use. So can of we storage? store a data here? Let's see because we did not store anything without data. without without yeah without the container. Without container you can't. Let me let me show you. That's yeah. So yeah, you that's, answer that's, my that's, question. That's, so yeah, that's, that's the I'm question. Talking. That's the question. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So you answer the question. No. Yeah. Without container you can't store. No, 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 no. I'm talking about storage account, not con. I understand container. I'm talking about the storage account. Mm. Okay, let me show you. Practically, then you will able to understand. 
see i have deleted the container okay here now i want to store something in this particular storage account okay, okay? so if i'm going to click on upload button i'm going to browse the you know file and i'm going to upload this fine it is asking select an existing container we do not have right so first like okay. it, like any like suppose i'm going to create a vm so if so, we do not have the resource group we are not able to create the uh, resources so you answer right? my, so you, so the question is answered now so my question it means so the prerequisite is before you store store account? Buy, you have to yes. create create a storage account then you create a container and then you upload yes, it exactly. yeah exactly now that that is my, is so you answer it okay so first that is what here i am creating suppose c o n okay let me give c o n t and test uh, 0 9 fine clicking on okay and click on upload now let us check whether in the container new container is created inside the container whether the file is uploaded clear yes or no suppose mm -hmm. if you want to delete this file you can delete okay you can create the snapshot snapshot means what if you are going to create the snapshot it is kind of disaster recovery if you are going to delete also with the snapshot again you can create the file okay but it is very very heavy chargeable okay you can practice on your what especially the free account okay yeah, Rohit. yeah yes. Rohit, one question yeah please. thing is uh, with regards to this container you said web container and this is the container which is in the storage okay mm -hmm. so when we need to uh, select, I mean, can you please tell me the use cases in the this thing, in the uh, real uh, this thing, uh, real work? Uh, okay, when real we work. have to choose the yes, uh, when which we have service? to choose the which service? web container. Which service? Exactly. Yeah, web container. Which and service? When Either story. Oh, okay, I got it. I got your okay. No. Yeah. Uh, question first of all suppose whenever we are going to store the data shall i delete this let me delete this this is very you know and then i will give you the answer just a second let me delete this unnecessary otherwise it will charge because you got uh, answer like where is resource group let me delete the resource group itself copy and okay and yes now the use case of in real time and real world scenario when to use a storage account and when to use container service correct yes, yes. or no that yes, was yes. the question see whenever we want to store data then we are going to use this storage account whenever we require any space like in aws we have s3 right similarly in azure we have a storage account okay we are going to use this correct this is clear yes or no now yesterday i have told you this one deploy azure container instance and verify it correct that is what you guys are asking yes or no Yes, yes or no, guys? Yes. 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 So, Azure Container Service is basically we are going to use for deployment purpose. Okay. Or basically, deployment purpose means that we are going to create one isolated environment to run the application, whether it is working or or not. Clear? Oh, we okay. are not going to use for a storage. We are not going to, repeatedly I'm telling you, we are Azure Container Service is not used for storage the any kind of data. It is going to provide you the environment. 
to do your task to do your work that's all okay, but this okay. particular service is only used for storing the data okay so here we cannot test there we can test right that is exactly it is it is only it's going to use uh -huh. use a storing no test uh -huh. and all only you can uh -huh. just you know like in where like in a container like in a bucket we are just throwing our things that's all okay 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 let me check whether it is deleted or not because this is very much chargeable see this is what uh, going to take so much time clear guys so this stories account is also completed what you said blob work the completed is that one work with the blob you were it mentioned we have blob. we have update uh, we have uh, no worked with we have uploaded blob stories only first one container is blob only have you seen yeah. the just uh -huh, go through the uh -huh. recording then it will be you no know, it will show okay 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 yeah sure sure, sure. yeah if again it is you know you have uh, some doubt next class you can ask no issues maybe see the, we all are human being maybe we are going to miss some line or something recording that is the reason we are providing recording also correct yes or no okay so okay, okay. okay guys so that's all for today Storage account and all. Before we go, like uh, the data, what are the different classification of data? Sometimes you say file, blob, and whatever. I don't understand. What's Basic, the difference between a blob and a file? Blob. Just now we did. File was just just now. I have deleted uh, this storage account. Okay, then I could have. Uh, let me check whether it is okay the service itself it is just now i deleted in data uh, in the stories in the left hand side there is what where we have created the container correct guys yeah. below that there is what file uh, system okay and all those stuff you know you can explore that okay there it is there okay you can store all types of uh, so there are four types of uh, basically stories available in azure blob file table queue okay so whatever the type of data we are going to store you can use that so what 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 is the simplest uh, definition of a blob like what like just now i have uh, uploaded which type of file there was a uh, extra file there was pdf yeah yeah tell me i think those are the two that we did see basically if someone is going to ask you what is azure blobs okay so it is basically you know option available to store the data okay any kind of either it is a, a, a .exe file or you know either it is a, uh, any type of excel file csv file okay any type of data we can upload okay that is what blob storage it's deleted i think okay so let me stop this but can you can you upload uh, structural structured data yes you i will up, yes you can upload a structured data unstructured data any type of data in a storage account any type of data because i know you have different and um, different type of um, storage yes yes so you can upload file also different dot txt file or no different types of file also you can upload okay do not go that much you know uh, depth in that if you have again i will show you all the types of file in a storage account okay once again i will create the storage and then i will upload in front of you all the types of blob just now we did today blob 
and then file system, then table and all. Okay. But according to your syllabus, that is what different stories, you know, database services uh, under the database services, that particular, you know, service will come. Here I can give you the basic introduction, how to use that, how to create that. Okay. That is, you guys must be heard about one um, certification in Azure that is, you know, Azure data. Have you heard about? Sir. Azure data engineer. Guys. I haven't. Okay, Azure Data Engineer Associate. So that in that we will go in so that much depth, but that is not required for you know, a DevOps engineer. Okay, only just now I have given you the introduction of you know, a machine learning service, right? So we are not going to test the machine learning. We are not going to you know, uh, study the Python and all this stuff because that is totally different you know, scale. That is totally different you know, uh, job role, okay? But you have asked, that is the reason I have, uh, you know, explained to you. So basically the main difference is uh, clear guys, any other, anyone have other doubt? And after today, I'm not going to add any new member in the session. And guys, from tomorrow, you will start receiving the notes in your WhatsApp group. Okay. Whatever the oh, person good, is. Good. Uh, yeah, because... Uh, why we have not po uh, you know posted any notes or any you know labs assignments and all because up to 30th i you know we are just waiting for the people who have okay so now it is finalized only this member i'm going to the person who wants to join they have to join the new batch because again from a starting if i'm going to explain it is not possible correct guys yeah right, yeah, right. Uh, only it will become a vestige of time for us, everyone. Okay. Thank you, guys. It was nice you know, talking with you. And uh, uh, from tomorrow onwards, you guys will receive your, you know, all the labs, you know, assignments and, you know, also the uh, notes, the uh, notes for certifications especially the service at least one liner two liner notes and apart from that guys i'm requesting you please once again watch my video and please try to do the labs create the storage account create the vm try to access and there are so many multiple scenarios do all the you know suppose you have created the vm correct yes or no inside the vm try to install one more you know application whether you are able to work inside the VM or not, that also you need to test, right? Yes or no? Okay. 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 So those is, although that is, you know, work of AG 700, but you know how to access, right? You have the tool, then explore that particular tool. Correct? Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rohit, uh, coming yes. back to my question, like, you yes. know, uh, see, thing is, uh, what, uh, see, my question was like you said that see I have created a VM now okay I wanted to share with you okay hmm. instead of creating adding you what I will do I will actually create a users in a server itself your hmm. name I will create in the server itself okay I will share the IP I will also uh, use the RDP with the same IP you will also use the same IP so hmm. only thing is the login will be different so will that work Yes, that is what from the day one I am telling you. There is an add option is there, right? If whenever you are going to click on no, no. A VM, uh -huh. there you can add the service. Man, wait, let me check. Is there Correct. instead of that? Hmm. No, no, my question is in the server itself, I will create two users one is Rohit and one is my name. Okay. Hmm. So I will not add it in the service in the in the server itself. I will do the computer management, and there I will create two users. Hmm. So uh, if I uh, add a, a 
if I log in, I mean, if I access, then automatically it will not ask me the password. Or it uh, uh, though it will ask the password, I will password which I have given there. Okay, but uh, you will uh, uh, try to access my IP, and it will ask you the password, right? Then you will give your username, Rohit, and uh, the password hmm. which I give the local one. Yeah, you are getting my point. Look, it is not the Azure one. Inside the uh, like server, I will create two users, Rohit and Sripad. Okay, got it. Here, got through question. RDP, I will access. Yes, you can okay. access. See, you can add. See, then, in the organization, let me tell you, in the organization, single server is what uh, used by multiple users. Sometimes, especially yeah. database credentials and all, right? Yeah. Correct. How they are using? Yes. Yes. Inside the server, they are just adding the uh, you know email ID of that particular user. Correct. And password will be sometimes common with the encrypted, or sometimes it is what different, right? Yes or no? So based on yes. this, what simple credential? Try it here. Try whether I don't think okay. You, okay. they will allow you in free account, or but it is possible. Uh -huh. Do not think it is not possible. Obviously, it is possible. Okay. See, only okay, you are okay, adding, okay. right? And my, and my, yeah. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. So yes. that, and see, adding users so thing, that people... but one more, one more thing. Suppose how, suppose you have added my name, you have created one server, you have added my email ID, correct? But you should provide me the information that what is the IP address of that particular you know, server, then only I'm able to access. Okay, okay. Getting my point without providing the IP address, although I have, you know, you have, pro but I don't know on which server you have added me. Yes or no? Suppose you want to uh, open a Google. Yes, yes, yes. You want to open a Google, simple. You should know the address of the Google URL, right? Am I yes, right? Yes. Clear. Similarly, that, that information yes. you have to provide. Uh -huh. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you for the day, guys. Okay. I think only two people yeah, yeah. Thank you. are there. Okay. okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you so yes, much. Yes, thank yeah. you so much. See thank you next thank week. You. Thank, we, thank we, you. We'll be Bye. expecting the the notes and. Uh... Yeah, definitely because there was some organization, yeah. you know, limitations. That is the reason I'm not sharing, guys. Okay. Mm, okay. Once all I right. got the because there are so many, you know, fee and all these stuff pending. So that is the reason we have not started. Okay, from tomorrow once I get the clearance from the management. Definitely, I everything is ready, guys. Don't worry, only just uploading into the okay. All right, no problem, Roy. Thank you so sure, much. Thank, sure. you. Thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.